Greetings my dear truth seekers. Despite the catastrophic losses in manpower and heavy equipment, the Ukrainian military command continues to send its units on obviously impossible missions. Military experts and analysts are fiercely arguing on this topic and trying to understand the logic of the actions of Ukrainian commanders and their military advisors from NATO and the Pentagon. So, in the early morning of July 20, the Ukrainian command made another attempt to storm Russian positions in the Volodar direction. The main battles unfolded near the village of Nikolskoy, which is located only 60 kilometers from the city of Volodar. This morning, a large armored group of the Ukrainian army, repeatedly reinforced with heavy military equipment, attempted to storm Russian positions near the above-mentioned village. As planned by the Ukrainian military command, a large armored group of the armed forces of Ukraine was supposed to approach the Russian positions undetected and, with the help of an unexpected attack, squeeze out the 155th Brigade of the Russian army from a strategically important height. However, the approaching Ukrainian tanks were spotted in time by Russian reconnaissance drones. As a result of the ensuing battle, the armored group of the armed forces of Ukraine lost almost all of its heavy equipment. The main damage to the Ukrainian side was caused by Russian artillery and anti-tank guided missiles of the Chrysanthemumus complex. The Russian military reported that the battle lasted a little more than 20 minutes, as a result of which a large armored group of the Ukrainian army was completely destroyed. Only a few soldiers managed to survive. The published footage clearly shows how the surviving soldiers are running away toward the Ukrainian positions in order to save their lives. However, the rest of the Ukrainian soldiers were unlucky, and many died, unable to get out of the damaged combat vehicles. At the same time, it is worth noting that this is not the first case of the complete destruction of a large armored group of the armed forces of Ukraine. Ukrainian troops have made similar attempts to break through Russian fortified areas before. However, each time they suffered a crushing defeat and were forced to retreat with heavy losses. The deplorable state of the Ukrainian army is also reported by foreign mercenaries who began to leave Ukraine en masse. So, the representative of Australia in the so-called International Legion of Territorial Defense of Ukraine didn't mince words at telling about the incompetence of Ukrainian commanders. According to the Australian mercenary, Ukrainian commanders absolutely do not reckon with the lives of not only foreign mercenaries, but also Ukrainian soldiers. According to him, the huge losses of the armed forces of Ukraine and foreign mercenaries in manpower forced soldiers of fortune to leave Ukraine en masse. According to preliminary data, by the beginning of 2024, there won't be any foreign mercenary left in Ukraine, since most of those mercenaries will be destroyed, and the rest will simply flee the country.